Your Excellency, the Vice President. I am pleased to inaugurate the Presidential Committee on the National Economy today. There is no better time to form a team of national economic experts than now. Starting with coronavirus and now the conflict in the Ukraine, the first three years have been turbulent, turbulent ones for the global economy. Global independence, interdependence has become more apparent as we have had to deal with volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. In this period, challenges faced by the world have been many, including A, lockdowns as coronavirus raged, B, disruptions to supply chains around the world, and C, sharp fluctuations in prices. Just as the world was beginning to recover from the coronavirus, the conflict in the Black Sea region between Ukraine and Russia worsened the challenges already being faced and created additional problems to which policymakers are having to respond. Our economy continues to grow despite adverse effects of rising interest rates, a stronger United States dollar, and higher inflation across the world. It is, however, important to know that some of the issues we must address are peculiar to us. For example, the decline in our production of crude oil. It is estimated that last month, this is August this year, we produced less than one million barrels in August. The fall in production is essentially due to economic sabotage. With the high price of oil in the world markets, producing at about half our OPEC quota has deprived us of much needed revenue and exchange and foreign exchange. Government is working tirelessly to reverse this situation. While citizens' concern about borrowing is well understood, our resort to borrowing must also be appreciated in the context of the resources required to deliver on the menu of the infrastructure, health, and other socio-economic needs of our citizens. It remains a major goal of this administration to continue pursuing the social protection programs. These programs provide support to the most vulnerable of our citizens. This administration is also not unaware of the debates about resource mobilization and utilization. On resource mobilization, our performance as a nation continues to be source of concern. Tax revenues are approximately 8% of our output. This compares very badly with those countries against which we measure ourselves that achieve 15 to 25%. In the absence of revenue, our ability to deliver the most basic services is limited. With respect to expenditure, our objective remains to ensure that spending is efficient and result oriented. In this regard, the debate around fuel subsidies is well noted. However, the right balance needs to be struck to ensure that we, to ensure that as we protect our citizens, we do not leave room for inefficiencies and leakages. 
it is also important to ensure that our national investment environment is such that local and international private investors can be attracted and retained. Sustainable dealing with the challenge of policy predictability and coherence is an important element in this regard. The Prudential Committee of the National Economy, which I am inaugurating today, aims to bring together all policy makers responsible for the economy. In this way, we share a common understanding and approach to resolving the issues I have identified and many more. This committee, which I chair, and includes representation of state governors, will provide our nation an opportunity to be bold, more proactive, and innovative in tackling persistent challenges. The work with which I have tasked the assembled team will enable us to respond more swiftly and efficiently. The task ahead remains enormous. I am, however, reassured that we will deliver on our most important objectives for the good of our people. Thank you very much, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that indeed I recall, and I'm not sure whether you meant it jocularly or whether that is what I should say, that Your Excellency did suggest that any time a meeting is scheduled, nobody who is a member is allowed to travel. Um, I'm not sure whether that was because we were talking on a Sunday night. <laughs> but the essence, as Your Excellency will recall, is simply to ensure that everybody who is relevant and important in all of these matters must at all times be present in these meetings. And so that is the background. Assembled here, Your Excellency, are the members of this Presidential Committee on the National Economy. Um, if I may again crave your indulgence to say as follows, Mr. President is in the chair. His Excellency, the Vice President, who is also Chairman of the National Economic Council, is a member. His Excellency, well, today, the, Ni the Nigerian Governors Forum is also represented today by His Excellency, Governor Amino Tambuwal, Governor of Sokoto State. Other members of the committee are the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. Indeed, this committee has the distinct advantage, or the Ministry of Petroleum Resources has the distinct advantage of having two representatives, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum, and indeed, the Honorable Minister of Petroleum himself, who will be chairing. In addition, the governor, sorry, the secretary to the government of the federation is a member. The chief of staff to your excellency, Mr. President, is also a member. The governor of the central bank is also a member, as is the vice chairman of the Presidential Economic Advisory Council. And I, your chief economic advisor, will serve not only as a member, but as secretary of this council. Our job, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, is to redouble our efforts to ensure we can, in the time left for this administration, to achieve some of the more important goals that we have set ourselves, whilst at the same time understanding the global environment and its domestic impact. I thank you very much, Mr. President, for agreeing, approving the establishment of this council, and I welcome all members to this meeting this morning. Thank you very much, sir. That is the background. 
assembled here, Your Excellency, are the members of this Presidential Committee on the National Economy. Um, if I may again crave your indulgence to say as follows. Mr. President is in the chair. His Excellency, the Vice President, who is also Chairman of the National Economic Council, is a member. His Excellency, well, today, the, Ni the Nigerian Governors Forum is also represented today by His Excellency, Governor Amino Tambuwal, Governor of Sokoto State. Other members of the committee are the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. Indeed, this committee has the distinct advantage, or the Ministry of Petroleum Resources has the distinct advantage of having two representatives, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum and indeed the Honorable Minister of Petroleum himself who will be chairing. In addition, the Governor, sorry, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation is a member. The Chief of Staff to Your Excellency, Mr. President, is also a member. The Governor of the Central Bank is also a member, as is the Vice Chairman of the Presidential Economic Advisory Council, and I, your Chief Economic Advisor, will serve not only as a member, but as Secretary of this Council. Our job, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, is to redouble our efforts to ensure we can, in the time left for this administration, to achieve some of the more important goals that we have set ourselves, whilst at the same time understanding the global environment and its domestic impact. I thank you very much, Mr. President, for uh, agreeing, approving the establishment of this council, and I welcome all members to this meeting this morning. Thank you very much, sir.